This is what rain looks like. We're hiking. Really ever did it today. I kind of did something stupid, and uh, it just goes to show you, you know, when uh, you overestimate yourself. Even somebody that has some skills like I do. I'm not saying I'm great, but uh, I had a fever the past few days. I got some dental work done. I don't know exactly what it means. Like if it's it means that I need to get my dental work done or. If the infection from it, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just something I caught, but I feel like something hit me with a baseball bat or Mack truck. But anyhow, just don't have the energy. Trouble concentrating. But that's actually a good example of what it's like when you're out in this kind of weather. Getting a text message, which would be good if you had fun. But when you're in a survival situation, you're going to feel a little fatigued, you're going to feel a little disoriented, a little sick. So the rain doesn't help. In that situation, I think I'd find myself a place to lay down, get some sleep, somewhere dry, go to shelter, probably a fire. All that Les Stroud stuff that he teaches you, I guess. Right now, yeah, I'm just tired, man. I'm beat. There's a lot of plants here I can eat, though. In the meantime, you know that I could use to survive if I had to. There's wood sorrel, some blackberries. There's even some. Uh, uh, it's a bunch of stuff we could use, but it's not always sunny in Pennsylvania. Found some shelter under this little hemlock tree. <laughs> I think I feel like I'm 90 years old today. It needs the heat and the humidity. It needs the fact that I had that fever, I don't know, but uh, couldn't even make the approach trail. When you get this rain, this humidity, you can see my glasses are even fogging up. But it's a good time to figure out. This daisy I found. Does she love me or does does she not? And um, Based on my luck with women, I don't even need to ask. Yeah, this isn't too bad. These little hemlock trees. One time they were the... <laughs> the dominant tree around this area. And, uh... The logging cut them all out, and that's why you have this bog. So it's extra humid here. And it's just playing hell on me right now. But uh, it looks like the rain's lit up a little bit, so I'm going to try and carry on a little bit. This is just a little a bit of me pushing myself a little too hard today. Um, very dangerous situation. Even, even though I'm going home, I could get pneumonia, I could get uh, infection, my blood could get worse. Um, I don't think it's so much with my gums. I don't think it's like an abscess or anything. I think it's just a matter of that uh, I had dental work. Anytime you get dental work with uh, Novocaine, it can jump to infection. And um, anyhow, in this situation, it can happen here. You could be out, eat something wrong. You could get fall, get hurt, get an infection. Nature is not very uh, comforting in those those areas. But you do have those lot of plants that can heal you. Uh, in this situation, I could probably take um, you know the difference between pine and uh, hemlock. Which were, wait a minute here for a second. Look at these ferns. When I was a kid, I used to find ferns and fossils, and those are the exact same ferns. So when you find them in this area, literally this area hasn't changed. Uh, it has, but fern-wise, it hasn't changed in millions of years. So, uh, I have areas I can make shelters with. Out there would be a good spot, good form. Uh, as I said about the pine needles, spruce right here. 
a very high, high in vitamin C, I can make a tea out of that. I don't know. <laughs> I did this on purpose to teach everybody a lesson on why you should not hike when you are feeling sick. You know. And this is the summertime. This isn't the wintertime. And you could be out here and you could uh, have a fever and be in snow and ice. So you never know. You never really never know. Yeah. Me, I'm heading back to my car. That's what I'm doing. I thought I heard something. Must not have been. But, uh, you know, I downloaded some of these uh, free books on the Kindle recently, and they had these uh, scout books. Oh, I guess Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts. You know, I've been in the woods a long time. I've seen everything. I've seen bear. And I even seen a mountain lion one time. One time, I saw a fox, and it was actually the other day on my porch. It wasn't even in the woods. Um, I've seen just about everything there is. But in the scout books, there was got the female scout master with her stick and she's leading the way and she's got the look, the look of determination on her face the pointy boobs the whole nine yards you know the green button-up shirt i've never met one and I've, I've been out here for a long time i've met these real preppy girls that come out i've seen hiker chicks i've seen the granola chicks i've seen everything but i've never met a girl like that. I'd, I'd like to meet a girl like that, you know. It's probably, probably this fever talking. But, you know, I, I get out here and I, I get those thoughts in my head that, you know, it's one thing I've never seen in the woods. It's sad. Uh, probably not the best survival skills then, huh? I'm a man, what can I say? I apologize.